Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Not many clouds today, just a couple small ones rolling through. Very warm, very dry. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the differences between uh, the two charge controllers that I'm running on the main house system and the discrepancies that I see between them and what I like and don't like uh, about them. One I love, one not so much. Beautiful day. Okay, I've got the perfect conditions to show how the Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller, this is the MPPT 150 as you can see. Absolutely love this. Uh, it's working perfectly and I've got it also a separate string with the uh, EP Ever 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller. And here's the problem I have with them playing together. As you can see right now, uh, the EP Ever is reading the battery voltage at 13.8. It's only letting in 6.9 amps uh, into the system. And it should be absolutely opened up full right now because uh, this is set to 14.0 uh, for the charge. And I'll show you that real quick. What my parameter is set for. It's a 600 amp hour bank. And I just want to show you. So I've got the boost charge set to 14.0 volts and float to 13.8. So it's not uh, to the 14 volts yet. And it's just not letting in the full amount of power. Where if I go to the Victron app for this controller right here, this is what I love about Victron. It knows that it's not, it's, it's reading the uh, voltage, as you can see, of 13.85, and it's still letting in on a 500 watt string, and it's very hot out there, so that's why it's not 500 watts. It's letting in 426 watts, though, trying to get it up to its uh, absorption voltage, and that's what I don't like about the EP ever, where the Victron stays opened up all of the way, uh, and then not until it's finishing up its absorption does it start tapering off the charge as it goes into float. So uh, both charge controllers work well, but there is no comparison. This is a thing that, of course, there's a little cloud uh, coverage rolling through, changing that, but the Victron wide open, trying to get it up to 14.0. I was trying to leave it on the lithium iron phosphate uh, preset of 14.2 volts and a float of 13.5. And because this keeps letting in the full amount of power on its uh, absorption, and this one, it kept alarming. It's just not as fast as the Victron. So although they both work, there is a big difference. This thing is not as fast. It's MPPT parameters do not move as fast as the Victron. You know, there it is. That should be opened up. I've got a 500 watt string tied into this one and a 500 watt string tied into the Victron. Victron's doing its job. This one, just not, you know, it's just, it should be letting in the full amount of power available, and it's just not doing that. I've had this issue with the EP Evers uh, since since day one. Uh, they just, for whatever reason, start to idle down long before they need to. Don't like that. And I have to say, when I was running the uh, two EP Evers before I uh, dropped this in to replace one of them, I still ran into the same issue. One EP ever would open up all the way. The other one would start to, 
you know, wind down long before it should instead of both of them just being wide open like the Victron. Just wide open, getting you up there as fast as possible. Lithium batteries can handle that. Yeah, as you can see right there, 409 watts coming in. Reading 13.88. 13.8. Eight volts on the battery bank. So the Victron, much more accurate, much quicker. Uh, no comparison in my mind. I'm gonna get up there. It's still only about one o'clock in the afternoon, so I uh, should get up to the 14.0 volt. Hold it there for, and I knock the uh, absorption time from uh, two hours down to one hour. I think that's absolutely fine. But I would have loved to just left it at 14.2 here, but the EP ever couldn't handle. It just can't track as fast. And when the sun uh, would get a cloud cover, cool those panels off, especially near the end of the absorption charge, and then the clouds clear out. They're cooled off and I get a nice big burst of sunshine. The uh, Victron keeps up. Uh, this doesn't, it just doesn't catch that quick uh, voltage surge and so I've had to because of this controller being tied in I had to just drop them both down to 14 volts which is absolutely fine by the way and it's doing great but the disappointment is right there six amps come on open it up this thing could be putting in 30 amps easy but it just it just won't do it so at least the Victron's in control here uh, and that's good the Victron is in control and it's gonna get me up there so really just wanted to point this out there is a big difference in how fast these things can track uh, no comparison in my in my opinion and as you can see by that yellow light right there, just went into absorption mode. Victron letting in 160 watts. As you can see, 10 amps, almost 11 amps coming in still. Just holding it right there at 14, rock steady, 13, 9, 9, 14, just fluctuates, yes, so ever so briefly and adjust the wattage it's tapering down it'll go down to where it doesn't even take but a watt to hold it at that and it'll just kick into float after one hour now compared to the ep ever which of course now it doesn't need anything because victron's got control but so there's nothing no amps coming in it shows 13.9 as well but yeah my complaint is is even when I had two of these running you know one or the other would take a long break even at a time when it should be uh, wide open on both of them uh, being EP Evers and then they would start to allow full uh, current coming in from the panels again but they would take long breaks and would take their time getting there uh, that's just not the way it is with the Victron. So there it is. 132 watts coming in. It's going to easily get to float today, which is all I care about, but there is a difference. And that was just something I thought I should highlight since I use them both. And here's a quick look at the string. Uh, that top string tied into the Victron, it's letting in just as much power as it possibly can. Although those panels are very, very hot, the sun is straight overhead beating down. So because of the warmth, it's not getting quite the 500 uh, watts that it should, but it's doing fine at 400 and some watts. And then this one down here, just, you know, uh, tied into the EP ever in full sunshine. It should be doing the same thing, but it just doesn't. So. That's one of the problems I have with the EP Evers is they just start slowing down when they shouldn't. So I thought that'd be interesting comparison. Yeah, 
I've quickly become a Victron guy. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, everybody, as you can see, we've got a gorgeous day going on here today. It's a little toasty, about 84, and they say it feels 88, and I can confirm that. Catch you guys on the next one. Aloha.